Brittany changed the title of her video that she posted about three weeks ago. Originally, this video was titled, I'm Moving and Broke. Now, the title is, I'm Moving. Brittany also wants to clarify herself, and she left a comment in her description box, and she also pinned a comment. I believe Brittany made changes to her video after Ryan, her ex posted a video stating Brittany is not broke and that she has hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank that he would never touch. About three weeks ago, Brittany posted the video titled, I'm Moving and Broke. In this video, Brittany states that she has two options on the table right now. She has to decide which option she's going with, but one of the options includes Brittany having to pay Ryan a lot of money. And she said it was every dime that she's ever made is all the money in all of her accounts, plus the equity in the house, plus she would have to pay him child support and spousal support. The other option would be to go to trial. And he gets every single dollar in all of my bank accounts. And I'm saying my bank accounts because that is all money that I have earned over a 10 year career. On top of that, he would get spousal support child support, and a percentage bonus if I make above a certain threshold. It's more than I even have. So it's more than everything in all of my bank accounts. I would also have to either take a loan or do something called an equalization payment and pay him in large chunks. And this is Ryan's response to Brittany claiming that she's broke. I mean, her title said, I'm moving and broke. As I can promise you, she has hundreds of thousands in multiple accounts that I nor anyone else is going to touch. Since Ryan posted his video, which by the way, is no longer available on YouTube, he deleted the video. Yeah, he deleted it, but if you haven't seen it, you can check out my video where I cover everything Ryan talked about in his video. I'll link it here. Brittany writes in her description box, I wanna clarify here, I'm not currently broke. I will likely be left with nothing if either of the two options for settling this divorce move forward. The settlement would result in me having zero dollars plus a huge loan and support and going to trial will cost me likely everything I have. Brittany also pinned a comment that says, guys, I want to clarify here. I'm not currently broke. What I explained in the video is that I will likely be left with nothing if either of the two options for settling this divorce move forward. The settlement would result in me having zero dollars plus a huge loan and support and going to trial will likely cost me everything I have. I would have to rent an apartment, not buy. When I filmed this house hunting, it was prior to the settlement meeting and I didn't know I wouldn't be able to buy. So Brittany is saying it's likely that she will be left with nothing if either of the two options for settling the divorce moves forward. And Ryan is saying he promises that Brittany has several accounts with hundreds of thousands of dollars in it that he's not going to touch. Brittany also changed her title. Her title used to read, I'm moving and broke. Now it says, I'm moving. I think it was probably a good thing that she changed her title because her old title did imply that she's broke. I mean, it said, I'm moving and broke. A viewer left this comment on Brittany's video. If you close the business and start it over from scratch to be more strategic as a businesswoman or employee, we would overwhelmingly come with you. And I wanted to highlight this comment in today's video because I do see this comment a lot. A lot of viewers want to know if Brittany can just start over, start a new YouTube channel. Brittany responded, unfortunately, it wouldn't matter. It's based on the value of my channel at the time of separation. I'm not even allowed to quit because I owe him so much money. Brittany left a comment on Ryan's YouTube video. The YouTube video he put up sharing his side of the story on his YouTube channel. I didn't see Brittany's comment on Ryan's video, but a viewer said Brittany left a comment saying that she has evidence that the things he's saying are completely false. Ryan said, I would love to see this evidence. Please ask her to share it. Now, after Ryan posted his video on YouTube, he did send me a DM on Instagram and shared the link with me. I shared a screenshot of the DM he sent me in a previous video. 
After I posted my YouTube video covering Ryan's YouTube video, I believe this was on March 29th, I was going through my DMs on Instagram and saw a message from Brittany. Now, before Brittany sent me this DM on Instagram, she had me blocked. I could not view her profile and she blocked me a while ago. I would say probably sometime last year. That's my best guess. I can't remember exactly when it happened. Here's a screenshot of the DM Brittany sent me. She said, Hi, I wanted to reach out to you privately. I'm sure you will be made aware of the video Ryan made about me and will likely cover the story. Woman to woman, I would just like to share with you the truth. I'm not sharing this publicly as this is going to court and my lawyer has advised me not to. I ask that you please don't share this, but I want you to know. And she sent me a Google document with evidence. I did read through the Google document. Some of it was blurry. Some of the words were hard to make out. But for the most part, I was able to read a lot of what she sent me. Maybe Brittany will share more in the future. I don't know. She did state in her last video that she's trying to find a balance of what to share publicly and what not to share because she does share her life online. But I think she's decided to just let this play out in court and not share as many details on YouTube, on social media about her divorce. And I think she's making the right decision here of like sharing this major, huge, pivotal thing that is going on in my life and is affecting me greatly without saying too much. And that has been a very hard line to determine. But I guess the bigger thing that I've learned and that I've realized self-reflecting is I need to let this all play out in court. This needs to be in front of a judge, the evidence and the facts and the truth on the table and let a judge decide and um, that is kind of what I'm doing moving forward is I'm sharing a lot less of the details here. Brittany goes on to say that she will continue to share about how she's doing, the process of divorce, starting over, lessons she's learned, but she's going to keep the details of her divorce off YouTube. I've read a lot of comments from viewers about Britney's divorce, comments left on my videos, comments left on Ryan's video and Britney's videos, and a lot of people say they think Britney and Ryan should keep this off social media. Some things just shouldn't be shared. So it sounds like Brittany is listening to the advice from viewers. And Ryan even said in his video, let's hope Brittany gets back to doing what Brittany does best and focusing on her content. I'm paraphrasing, but that's pretty much what he said. He said, hopefully Brittany will just get back to focusing on her content and doing what she does best. If you missed Ryan's video where he shares his side of the story, I'll link it here. You can go check it out next. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines today. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.